guys welcome back this is a boy again adam sling how you guys doing welcome to another video to try as much as possible as usual to support your boy like this video comment share it all to your platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam sling and make sure you subscribe and then click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload and meanwhile good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are watching this video from uh this first one is coming from whiskey the baby mama i have seen people saying similar thing before and uh she wrote said how possible it is for a lady to be pregnant for up to three months and won't be aware it's as possible as possible can be speaking from experience that is i didn't know i was pregnant till after five months and was still seeing my monthly period it's quite possible guys i've had more stories about that and uh, if you have ever experienced it please kindly enlighten people who are also going through the same thing right now and uh, let's talk about Zubi Mike so he decided to come out to dish out a really good advice for once I thought the Zubi Mike was into uh, some kind of internet fraud or dating fraud all those kind of thing but I'm sorry for having that thought towards Zubi Mike before uh, but because based on the advice he gave recently, I think I was beginning to have some doubt. And uh, this is what he, he said. But we are avoiding spiritual deaths. Because it's simple, you're not a guy. It will come back to you. It won't go to girls. It's better you date a comfortable guy, you get in house, get in two cars. All those five, ten million, not anything, they travel. Than to go date a multi billionaire that has a spiritual dent. Ah, what do I mean by spiritual ah, dent? That is doing something illegal for money. You do somebody, collect the money, the person hang himself, die. You now come to the big house, they want to marry their family. You don't know. It's a wild spiritual, those things will come back. If you the born, they're going to die. And you will get where you normal guy, where they're comfortable, say you want their money, they or she go digger. When you want to enjoy that money, you die. It's not like that. Fucking. I know that they deep, I beg. How about don't go Safia? Calm down, life now, Georgia. That's why my confidence is unmogging because it's a fucking hard end. Genuine. See, the workout, but see, the, the, what did I go through, sir? But did they pepper me? Stay genuine, man. About spiritual dent. You can't destroy something precious and. And you are trying to build something precious. What goes there comes around. That's why people like us say no to come out. We say we don't get by. Exactly, guys. Exactly. But uh, after all, some people won't hear. Some people won't hear. They will still be like, forget. They won't hear. And uh, it's quite understandable. My guy, I don't think. For those of you who are dating your old boys, for those of you who are dating people who you think that uh, or who are married to people who you think they are kind of like spiritual, how does it feel like? Are you living comfortably? Are you happy with yourself? Let us know. Are you living comfortably? Are you happy with yourself? Hmm? Let us know, guys. Because I know you won't be comfortable. There's no happiness in, 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 in that kind of thing. No happiness at all. I don't think there's any kind of happiness. So please, girl, date a guy who has this, who is comfortable, who is trying his best to live the next like, who is really, really trying. You know what we mean by trying. It's not this kind of guy that uh, you already know, have uh, don't have anything to render. But someone who is actually trying, uh, settle down with that person. Now going to that super rich. Some people guess I just did super rich, super rich person. Super rich, don't worry, that's super rich will enjoy it one day. And uh, check out this video. <laughs> it shows a moment a police officer almost shot at a driver. So the person who wrote it, uh, his name is Arusin, said, Today I escaped assassination attempt by some men dressed on black, driving a black illus vehicle with the Inscription police, Nigeria police, fully armed with AK 47 rifle. This happened today at 1 40 pm before the Asaba International Airport. Immediately, I noticed I was being trailed. 
I held my phone with my left hand and drew with my right hand. I don't know who they are or who sent them. The Delta State Police should immediately fish them. This is a second assassination attempt. My time has not come. That was he said. His time has not come. But uh, it's a suspected Nigeria police. But I think they should trace that car since they are using uh, something that looks like a Nigeria police vehicle. Well, <laughs> crazy. If they are actually Nigeria police, eh, I think they should be all be dismissed. They deserve to be dismissed. And uh, meanwhile, let's go over to South Africa. This was the moment the president of SA announced that his iPad has been stolen. I'm waiting for my iPad. Somebody stole my iPad. <laughs> huh? Somebody decided that they want to dispossess me of my iPad. So I want that. Can I have my iPad, please? So they stole it. Hmm? I had my iPad. So where did you know where they took my iPad to? <laughs> this is the problem of always handing out your gadgets to other people. It's always best that I should keep all these things with me. I'm so in shock. It's so disbelief. Don't forget, we saw a similar video. Someone doing live a news, uh, a news uh, station doing live uh, broadcast. And three men, in SC2, three men came and rob them sorry I, I don't have the video it seems like south africa don't play at all <laughs> even going as far as robbing the president <laughs> i wish that can happen in nigeria i wish that can happen in nigeria i'm telling you hell will lose and uh guess what guys it seems like uh, one politician has been sentenced to Jail and this one is uh, uh, Farouk Lawan. For those of you who are familiar with this case, 500k or 10 dollars bribe court sentence Farouk Lawan to seven years in prison. For seven years in prison, a high court in federal capital territory FCT has sentenced the former chairman of House of Rep. At Corp Committee on Petroleum Subsidy, Farouk Lawan, to seven years in prison. Lawan was jailed on Tuesday, January 22, after being found guilty of bribe from a uh, billionaire businessman from the Tedula during the probe of forest subsidy in 2020 or 2012. He had chaired the Ad Committee, which proved forest subsidy under as president Gulok Jonathan. The Ted Dollar has accused Lawani of making a demand of 30 million from Zeno Petroleum and Gas Limited, his company to be dislisted from company being probed. The independent corrupt practice and other related offenses commission indicated him of collecting 500 k bribe from Ted Dollar, may the lawmaker deny it. Well, guys, he was sentenced to seven years in prison. Is that a good call? Is that a good call in the right direction? Let me know, guys. Let me know. Uh, a national assembly flawed all over. I think we should start talking about this uh, this uh, flood, which I'm going to discuss a bit. But firstly, uh, say in Lincoln Roof disrupt Senate plenary at the national assembly every year flooded. Just imagine. 
this shows the way this can actually like you no know, really really define nigeria for you you don't even need any definition well there can be that's what talking about this uh flood uh there's one particular place in abia state Ungwa. you see a resident crossing this flood everywhere and also there was still another one in uh uh Ijebu Ode. Also, guys, uh, let's talk about the flood part. I would go to actually really blame the government. Well, for me, I do not think we should blame the government concerning the flood going on in the uh, in Abia State and also that here uh, Ijebode. No, I don't think we should blame the government. You see people building houses, no drainage. I just say, if you go anywhere there's really flood going on, go and check that environment. You will see that, yeah, that definitely sign of wickedness. Wickedness in that environment. Because I do not see why you're going to build a house and you won't provide a way for water. Or you guys have drainage and you'll be pouring dirt inside those drainage. So don't blame the government. The government is not everywhere. They are not going to do everything. You human being, because what is the need of packing those drainage? And the next day, you guys should pour more dirt in, inside it. So you guys should suffer it. I'm not saying it's not as if it's good, though. But honestly, I think they should suffer it so that when the funny thing is that they do not learn, because this thing happens almost every year. They know rainy season is coming, but as soon as there's dry season, I'm telling you, they totally forget that they need to clean their drainage or they need to pave way for, for water to pass. Coming rainy season again, and then videos like this will be popping up. You guys should be responsible, at least for your own safe, for your own safety. So, I know people you see the government, the government, no, 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 no. I do not think we need to call the government for this at all i do not support that and i mean i check out a medical doctor who was recently arrested and guess what this medical doctor did the medical doctor arrested for selling lace cookies and biscuits online the medical doctor choma 26 has been arrested in aochi and those states my, my place by operative of uh, the national drug law enforcement agents for operating an online catering service or magicking or my kitchen through which is sell dropped cookie and biscuits maybe doctor kind with that kind of profession the only thing you want to go get to start <laughs> selling drug laced cookies with drug a medical doctor for that matter in my own place choma why now choma ufuma my wine now you'll go down for it too sorry eh? you are gone you are gone and uh also i have so much to talk about in fact let's talk about what this guy wrote about david so uh this guy is an upcoming musician well he recently said david do f up that's according to him he said david do messed up well listen to what he has to say guys no man, I wish to work with DMW, but they don't fuck up. You understand? The reason why I said they don't fuck up is uh, if they doesn't have spiritual feelings for his family, uh, I wouldn't suffer for a good 10 years and be helping outside that. You understand? We are from same city, same state, you know. I think I think with all my effort on music to enter industry, uh, I think we would have made because I, I work with those that are that is around David Do. You understand? That's why I said if they don't fuck up, I that doesn't mean like that. They, I, anytime I see the blue chilling, I was like, hey, brother, you did there, and I did there with the sofa. <laughs> you grab. I did there with the sofa, and you did there, you did enjoy, you know, and you, did, you are happy outside that. So that's why I said if they don't fuck up. I well, you said you wish to work with David Doe, and also you are saying David Doe don't F up. Well, they are from the same place, they are from the same state, they are from the same uh, city. And yet he said, David Doe messed up. David Doe should have assisted him. 
Uh, guys, and uh, tell me exactly how you feel about what is good. And uh, you can see it's uh, Twitter and uh, sorry, it's Instagram and there. And uh, let's see what David Do will say. Will uh, David Do can uh, will David Do respond to this kind of uh, message? Let's see, guys. Then again, guys, in Thailand, Nigerian man arrested for possession of cocaine. A 41 years old Nigerian man, uh, Benjamin, and a local woman has been arrested in Thailand for allegedly possession of cocaine. Well, guys, they raided his apartment and they caught they saw cocaine in his apartment. <laughs> it's gone. Let us be uh, sincere. It's gone. Thailand do not play when it comes to anything that has to do with drugs. There's no uh, life, uh, life imprisonment. There's no uh, few sentence. The only thing that he's going to get is death penalty. Let us be frank. So who's going to come to his aid? The government? Like, like. Don't expect the government to come to his aid. And meanwhile, well, guys, I thank you very much for watching this boy here on this link. Uh, try as much as possible to like the video, comment, share on social platform, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and this link. And I uh, enjoy your day and have a wonderful day. Bye.